whatnot. What's up, everybody? 1718 Optic Basketball Blast Up, number four. Nine times. Dom, last night was a very interesting night. It was going to be extremely lovely. Um, we were uh, we were up 33,000 um, very late into the evening. Uh, unfortunate situations happened. And uh, we were up 13,000. And then, and then, yes, Monty Grandel, you know, hit that awesome grand slam in the top of the ninth inning uh, with two outs, and that one, uh, that one, gave us the uh, final little kick in the dick, and uh, took us down about another eight thousand. So we walked away with fifty two hundred on the night. Tie up, John Down. So basically, uh, some some extra innings would have been would have been lovely. They did not get there. Tonight's a new night, though. I hope to uh, get a Don Gratz out of somebody this evening. We'll see. Seven, eight, and nine. Lakers up. Spurs down. We'll see who got that special sauce. Flawless basketball, Dakota, Immaculate Soccer, Chad, Mosaic Basketball, Jonathan. Congrats, guys. Not really any good deals on there. Wow. Aggressively shitty, huh? Yeah. That's pretty neat. But, well, I had to get Larges because it ended up a medium one topping was seven bucks, but a two topping large was eight. So, hmm. and then going for that value, huh? Yeah, the Hawaiian for medium was 12, but for a large, they had a 14 dollar one. Oh, so you got you got a pencil and an extra two bucks for like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna have you start doing my grocery shopping for me. <laughs> this man, this man can find value, guys. <laughs> Wait, where's the drinks? Oh, and guys, he just lost the privilege of being the grocery shopper. He left the drinks at the store. All the favors are coming tonight in the playoffs. Parlay it. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Fung. I mean, would you expect anything less? Right, Shadow? Wait, the Yankees are going to get Stanton, Mini, Machado, and the Harper? Exactly, Shadow. What's up, Jonathan? Guys, Mosaic Blaster number five in the store. $32.99. Could turn into a Ben Simmons gold out of Mosaic. Could turn into a Ben Simmons flawless gem out of flawless buckets. Could turn into a Ronaldo one of one patch auto. Could turn into a checkerboard of uh, Donovan Mitchell, Tatum, any one of those uh, crazy cats. Maybe a Mark Hanen. It's happened before. Nine hours leave for work. <laughs> I, I would I would not really say nine hours late is a thing. I would call that more as uh, like a no call no show, or uh, yeah, no call no show. I wouldn't call it nine hours late. I think once you hit like five hours, like your lateness has exceeded time. Awesome, Justin. Yankees will get Machado if he will play third. So no. They are full on outfield. So no Harper. There we go. You guys heard it here.
Yeah, it's a no call, no show. Speaking of no call, no show, specifically the no show part of that, I'm not, I'm not watching anything on television right now. It's literally depressing. So, Jay uh, Olinger, how much you firing on that then? Thousand to win like seven stacks. Oh, wait, Westworld starts back up this week? Guys, I lied. I have a show I'm watching. Doesn't like everything pretty much give you brain cancer nowadays? Like staring at this camera, you guys, for this many days of my life, it's probably going to give me brain cancer. This Sunday, nice. Shockingly enough, I'm not surprised you say that, Mason. I don't recall seeing any anal rapings in it. I can see where you might not be interested by it. <laughs> it's gonna really pick up the information. You bring a valid point to the table, Mason. You bring a very valid point to the table. We don't see everything that happens off camera. Oh, that's the beautiful thing about television. Everything you see on there, I, I'm literally. You might want to sit down. I might shock you. Is not real. I never watched Oz, Shadow. Oz was right before uh, Sopranos, I believe, wasn't it? What's up, Biggio? What's up, Butterfield? Oz was good. I never got it. Was was Oz the one about a prison? Mm hmm. Sopranos is legit. Six to one, huh? That was close then. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, I have Sopranos all seasons on DVD. <coughs> I figure when I'm done with my uh, career of being a professional um, sports card opener on the interwebs and uh, my daughters are like a little bit older, I might sit down and watch that the whole series again. You never saw one episode of The Sopranos. This explains a lot, Barnes. Explains a lot. Wirehead chicks doing things. Well, that's pretty cool. You think the wire was better than Sopranos? Wow. The wire is another one I've never seen. I didn't really get into Sunday night television until The Sopranos, and then kind of stayed very uh, isolated to only a certain few shows. Overlap seasons. What did a chick do in Sopranos? What are you talking about? There's all kinds, of, all kinds of random just uh, scenes. Outlander is Game of Thrones for females. Never even heard of Outlander. What 
What's up, party people? How you doing, Aces? Yeah, there was all kinds of banging in Sopranos, for sure. Baseball season is a beautiful thing indeed. Didn't end it. What did it do? Get uh, cut? Speaking of shows that got cut. Nice video. The Family. What was that? Last year now? Such a great show. I cannot believe that they, they dropped that. They entertained the shit out of me. Oh yeah, watch Breaking Bad. Yep. Like this is this is how hard is it? This is how hard it is for me to get into a show. But then if I get into a show, like I go at it. Like Breaking Bad, I didn't start watching until I believe season five. Walking Dead, I believe, was like season. I think five too, and then just straight binge watched. Uh, you know, I watched the first episodes of it and planned on watching it, but no, use goose. I just haven't. I just haven't watched that at all. So, how is that? Is it good? Who did Barnes? Oh, I love Breaking Bad, man. Loved it. Actress on the Wire? Hell yeah. Did I see all of Breaking Bad? Yes. Season 1, Episode 1, till season finale. Yes, sir. I would say of shows that I wa that I watched or watch. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go top three. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go in reverse order. I'm gonna start at number three. Number three. I'm gonna go with It's tough. It is tough to go through three here. Three and four are tough. So, you know, I'm just going to start with four. Number four, Walking Dead. Number three. Number three, I got to go Breaking Bad. Number two, Sopranos. And number one, Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Peppa Pig's like straight up number one right now. Dude, DuckTales is amazing. How could anybody even joke? How could it, Oh, my God. I forgot about Entourage. How can anybody even joke about DuckTales? That is the shit. I would probably put Entourage at three. So I'd probably go uh, Game of Thrones, Sopranos, Entourage, Breaking Bad, Walking Dead. That's a pretty, that's a pretty strong five right there. It's a pretty strong five. Oh, God. Slow makes that legit alone. 
three Breaking Bad, two The Wire, one Game of Thrones. I like it, Justin. I like it. Seinfeld. Friends and How I Met Your Mother. Uh, such a great list. Now, if we're going TV shows, number one for me, hands down, Married with Children. You can't touch out Bundy. I have not. My wife's watching it, but I have not. Mason, do you secretly want to be a 17-year-old female back in high school? The Office would be Dana's number one. Uh -huh. And Modern Family is up there for Dana as well. Modern Family is a great show. It really is. Of course I like Boy Meets World, man. TGIF. <laughs> Mr. Belvedere was the shit. I love that butler. Mr. Belvedere, sick name drop. Mr. Feeny Topanga. Clarissa explains it all. I've never seen it. Heard of it, never seen it. What's a show that I like that the general public doesn't? Um, the Family, apparently. Because it got canceled after one week or one season. What's up, Dave? I have not seen Mr. Robot, no. Fong, you've heard of it. I talked about it all the damn time. God, Fong. Maybe it wasn't called The Family. No kidding, Matt. Bit of a uh, Melissa Joan Hart uh, fanboy here. Oh, what's the one that she's a witch in? Dana loves that show, too. Oh, and what's... The, the show with Reba McIntyre in it. And the kid's a uh, football player. Reba. Yeah, is it Reba? Better leave it out there. Oh, thank you. That's a good show. <laughs> Reba. Yeah, Sabrina Teenage Witch. That's right. Fresh Prince was a good, good show, but it's not a top five. I love Fresh Prince, but it's not a top five. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I watched the shit out of Pool House, and and seriously, who saw it coming that Jody Sweeten was gonna be the hottest one of the three? I'm telling you, get into meth. It's uh, it's the move. I disagree. I would go Fresh Prince over Martin. I mean, Gina was cool, but I don't know. Martin just annoys me. Oh, yeah, dude. She's still, she's still damn good looking, but Jody Wheat Sweeten is... Donkulous, man. Right, guys this is the uh, part where uh, we start looking at dudes on cardboard good luck Wayne Selden silver Aminu purple Al Horford silver 
Yeah, who's who's uh, Cameron Candace's husband? Yeah, it's I can't think of his name. Is it Pavel Bure or whatever? Guys, I think I found a serious closet fool house lover over here. Frank Mason Silver. Josh Jackson Green. Ooh, I was right. Pavel. Dwayne Bacon. Guys, if you enjoy this phenomenal chit-chat of past television shows, go ahead on over to NastyBreaks.com. Grab yourself a spot in Blaster Number 5. Get a chance at a Flawless Basketball, a Mosaic Basketball, or an Immaculate Soccer Number Block. And enjoy some great banter. What's up, Dustin? Bates, who's the sexiest dude on cardboard you've seen? Uh, myself, uh, use Goose. Thomas Bryant. I, in fact, have a couple cards. So I'm going to go with myself. Julius Randle. You'd have to agree. Thank you. I got to tell you, I, I truly, I've been Rob Silver, it feels special that I've had so many dudes over the years tell me that I'm a very attractive man. It really helps my ego. Thank you, guys. Evan Fournier. Markel Fultz, rookie. Uh, Thaddeus Young, purple. Dwayne Bacon. Castle Hall. Yeah, straight up Chuck. Or no, what's uh, what's what's that? Uh, the Fred. What the hell is that dude's name? That character's name. Josh Hart, Lonzo Ball, rookie. It's driving me crazy now. I wanted to say Chucky, but it's not Chucky. D'Angelo Russell. TJ Leaf. Markel Fultz, rookie. TJ Wilson. The, the dude with big ears, freckled face. What's that? What's that character? That that's name. I want to say it was attached to Saturday Night Live, maybe or something. I don't know. That's just it. I can't remember. It was a it was a cartoon character. Speaking of that, I'm gonna blow your guys' mind. I'm gonna blow your guys' mind right now. Gort top. Saturday Night. Yes, Mad TV. Thank you, Jonathan, for Mad TV. Dwayne Wade. Saturday Night Live. Sucks. How do we feel about that? J.J. Barea. How do we feel about that? Hmm? Lonzo Ball rookie. Terry DeHere for the Clippers. Alfred E. New. I have no idea who that is, Tom. I cannot tell you the last time I watched Saturday Night Live. Anytime I've watched it, anytime in the last probably like nine years, I was not entertained. Yeah, Rafi, that's what he said over here on Mad TV. Yeah. Keenan and Kel. I've, I don't think I've seen it. Chris Dunn. I, I know what it is, but I don't think I ever watched it. Jeremy Lin. Oh, that's who it is, Tom? <laughs> no shit. Alfred E. Newman. Zebo. I can't remember why I said that. Uh-oh, we got our checkered board. It is for the Pelicans. It is Drew Holiday. Checkered. Speaking of television shows, here's a little something I'm curious to see. Tree Rollins for the Hawks. I'm curious to hear what your ratings are of Impractical Jokers on a, on a scale of 1 to 10. Andrew Wiggins. 1 to 10. Where do you put a 10 from Molly, a 9 from Use Goose, 
Practical Jokers. I did not ask for a comment. I said one to ten. Ten ball. Okay. I myself, I have two answers to that. I would answer a seven if I'm watching it by myself. If I am watching it with Dana, 10 out of 10 because she cracks up so hard at it. It is freaking hilarious listening to her just die laughing at it. Robert Covington, wow, Rojo, you're literally going to go a one, huh? JJ Berea. Jason Tatum for the Celtics. A one. Mason goes a lot. Wow, you are looped in with Mason now. You guys just became best friends. Big Sky guy had a four. David a five. Wow. I got tens around here. Clay Thompson. And small, small numbers on here. Auntie. Interesting. <laughs> You're right. Damian Lillard. Milos Purple. Kirsten Barnes. Say it, Thomas. My apologies, Mason. Justin says it too. Wow. Bunch of tough guys, huh? Scale of 1 to 10. Family guy. Another one that I'm going to fire two answers at. I'm going to go with an eight. Unless I am baked out of my gourd, in which case I will go at 50. That is, that is the move. Lori Markanen for the Bulls, Fong. South Park, I'm going to give a, uh, I'm going to give it a strong four. Lonzo Ball rookie, Victor Oladipo. That is a silver, yeah, man. Deion Waiters, Markel Fultz, Markel Fultz, Magic Johnson. Uh, I've never watched Rick and Morty. Beavis, Beavis and Butthead, um... When I was younger, I would have said probably like a 10, but then I was it was like on... Speaking of that, is MTV still a channel? Is it? Yes? No? Thank you. I didn't know if it was still a channel. A check... A rated rookie checkerboard. Another one. Oh, snap. For the Thunder, Terrence Ferguson. Anyhow, um, Beavis and Butthead is uh, mildly entertaining. Not overly aggressively entertaining. Another Milo's Purple. This has been another banger. Guys, in the store, $32.99. Look at the greatness that can come of this. Or Dragic. Even if you don't hit, you're still going to probably get a decent amount of cards. JoJo White. Put them in like your bike spokes and shit. Caleb Swanigan in purple. Dude, back to back would have been sick. What's up, Joe Serafin? Joe Serafin, you ready to ask me this uh, super top secret question yet? Matthew Deladova for the box. Guy on eBay today about made me cut a card in half and then relist it. $9.99, free shipping. Free. Is that the best you can do? No. Any cheaper? I'll just keep it. Tyler Lydon. I My recommendation when it comes to eBay, Yao Ming, when I used to sell on eBay all the time and what have you, Justin Jackson, is don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. Oh, Joe, you already tried that hustle, but I'm not really interested. Unless it's like for 25 bucks, Joe. Jamal Murray.
Jeff Teague. Here's a question. Here's a question, Jared Allen. Which would you eat? No thanks, Joe. Which would you eat? Hawaiian pizza? Or pepperoni and mushroom pizza? Terrence Ferguson. Jason Tatum. I also learned that somebody has the giggles today. Hawaiian. I agree. Hawaiian is legit. What kind of mushrooms? I don't know. Whatever the hell the mushrooms are that go on pizzas. Kawhi Leonard. There are different kinds of mushrooms. I just don't know the names of them. Jason Tatum. Wow. Number to 25. Yubisee and blah, blah, blah. Yes, LA for the Celtics. Mushrooms make you gag? Dude, mushrooms are good, man. That's a tough one for me. I really enjoy a, a Hawaiian, and I really enjoy just a plain, basic mushroom and pepperoni pizza. Maybe I should absolutely blow my own freaking mind, take one of each, stack it, and eat a sand, make it a sandwich. Wow. That is a game changer. Uh, probably like 4,000, Mason, if I had to guess. Tyler Dorsey. Uh, Wes Unsell. Well, Joe Serafin, then what you should do is put on eBay for 300 and you'll get 250 for it. Terry and Prince for the Hawks. My guess is, Joe, that you have probably um, tried said uh, maneuver and have not succeeded. I don't even remember what the card is at this point. I did watch it, yes. I was confused by it. Ivan Rob, it was not a, are, are you kidding me guys? A third checkerboard. <sighs> Jesus, Justin, that's intense. Sorry to Julio. Doug McDermott for the Knicks. Yeah, Eugene, look at him just coming through. I knew, I knew he had some good in him. I knew he had good left. 5.1 million fungal. What did I say? 7.8 trillion. I was pretty close, man. Gershon. Donald Mitchell rookie. Trevor Ariza. Gotcha. Well, I mean, Joe, what my thing is, is would be selling it on eBay anyway. So, like, that would, that would make no sense for me. Like, I don't have a magical treat to sell for more than you do. Eric Bledsoe, Larry Markanian. And recap coming up. Guys, start grabbing your spots at number five. This is an insane, insane, insanely fun break. Plus, you got the upside of potential Ben Simmons flawless, Ronaldo immaculate, and Ben Simmons mosaic. Donovan Mitchell, Doug Mc we had three checkered boards in this case too. Doug McDermott, Tarion Prince, Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Gear Shot to 25, Mitchell, Deladova, Ferguson, Ball, Fultz, Markanen, Tatum, Tree, Drew Holiday, Ball, Deher, Ball, Fultz, Fultz, and Josh Jackson. That was the break, guys. Thank you all. I appreciate it.